welcome back to my YouTube channel. My name is Sophie and I am here today back home in Cincinnati. It's absolutely crazy. For those of you who don't know, I have seven younger siblings. Their best friend Sarah is here. There are seven pets around. We have four cats and three dogs here with Benny. So. It's kind of crazy. If there's a lot going on in the background, I apologize. But today we're gonna be baking Christmas cookies and some vegan Christmas treats. I'm super excited. We're gonna be baking vegan gingerbread cookies, vegan red velvet crinkle cookies, and peppermint bark. We're gonna be starting with the gingerbread cookies. I think that's it. Are you guys ready to start? Yeah! Woo! Okay, we'll see you in a minute. All right guys, so we are going to be starting by making the gingerbread cookies and Grace is gonna tell us all the ingredients and how we're gonna go about doing that because I am not a professional baker. So, uh, you wanna tell us what's in there? What we got going on here? We're gonna start with the dry ingredients. You're gonna need flour, baking powder, baking soda, salt, ground cinnamon, cloves, ground ginger, nutmeg, vegan butter. This is earth ballast. I think this is like the best for baking. I don't know, that's what it's on the package, so that's what I got. And then just one stick, right? Half a cup, but yes, one Half stick. Half a cup, and one stick. And vanilla extract. And then what's this? Did you already say that? Dark brown sugar. Dark brown sugar, and then you said all this. And what's this? That is a hand sifter, which you will be using. Okay. And then you got little measuring stuff. We got little Christmas, Christmassy spatulas. And then a snowman. Guys, we're going all out Christmas. Hey. Hello. I like your Christmas jammies. Okay, so next you're gonna need molasses, but we looked at two grocery stores and they were sold out in both. So instead of using molasses, we are going to be using regular corn syrup and just dyeing it. You wanna dye it because you want that darker gingerbread look. You don't want the gingerbread cookies to be light brown, right? Yes. Yeah, so we're gonna just dye some regular corn syrup. It should taste pretty similar, but the recipe calls for molasses. So if you can find molasses, then use that. Start with less food coloring and yeah. then add more if you need it. So we just added three fourths a cup of corn syrup. Yes. Right? Regular corn syrup. And then like two to three drops maybe of the brown, what color is this? Brown. Brown food coloring. Okay, look at that. Yeah, three drops really worked well for us. Oh, I don't want to spill it. Yeah. Now with the hand mixer, we're going to mix together the half cup stick of vegan butter, the three-fourths cup of brown sugar, and the three-fourths cup of molasses. She's so proper. Okay, Miss Baker, go ahead and do it, and I'll do the mixing. I would make sure that this is softened but not melted. Soften the butter, so like don't put it in the fridge. Oh my gosh! <laughs> Whoa, that, that would have been a so cool weird. shot. Now we're gonna slowly add our dry ingredients to our wet ingredients. While well, mixing it? Yes. The camera is definitely crooked right now. I am an amateur, guys. An amateur YouTuber and also an amateur baker, so don't judge me. I'm gonna fix the camera. Let's uh, make this straighter, maybe. Is that better? Is that straighter? Good. Okay. So what, I just like tap this in here? Yeah, just slow. It's not rocket science. It's scientist. It's not rocket scientist. It's not rocket science, okay? You just have it in. So, do you have a boyfriend? No. Not either. I actually don't. Who's your celebrity crush? I don't have one. Bull. <laughs> no. That is not. That's a lie. It's not a lie. Oh my gosh, you're embarrassing me, Sophie. See how it's getting thicker, guys? Oh my gosh. They can't see. We gotta show them. It's getting a lot thicker now. It's more doughy. Than yeah, like we're turning this into dough. So, and if are we gonna use all this? Yeah. What and if you want, you can use a hand. I mean, a stand mixer. A what? A stand mixer. Oh, uh, would that be easier? Yes, if you so choose. 
if you so choose, she's so proper, if you so choose to use a standing mixer, you can do that, if you so choose. It's really thick. It's yep. coming up the sides of the... Okay, let's strike this. Rosie, you have a boyfriend? No. Why not? Because. Because why? We know one here. Who says? Me. <laughs> Who's your celebrity crush? Don't have one. That's not true. That's true. That's not true. This is where you can use a standing mixer if you so choose. Yes. My arm hurts. Okay, so we didn't end up using all of the dry ingredient mix. Woo! We used most of it. Yeah, yes. you can see the ring light in the fridge. We used most of it, but we are putting the rest of it on the counter because we have to knead the dough. Yes. And this is what the dough looks like. It's actually like really, really thick. It's really doughy. And that's how it's supposed to be. Right? Yes. Yeah. Wonderful. We're doing a good job. So now, so now we're going to plop it onto the counter. Make sure your counter is clean and your hands are clean because COVID, you know? Yes. I mean, you should do that anyway. But. So we're going to knead this into a ball. Look at that. So we're just going to knead Look this at that. into a large ball. That's not quite a ball. That's no. more of a... I just want to knead it together first. What is your favorite recipe you have made, like, ever? My favorite recipe are usually during the holidays. But so far, it's either this or the ho ho cookies that we made. One of my favorites of yours was the bumblebee cake that you made for. That Aunt was Kelly. fun. That was so cute. She did such a good job. I'll put up a picture of it. But... Alrighty, I think this is a good. That's a ball. ball. It's finally a ball. So now we're What's gonna this? put it. Oh, you can eat that. How's it taste? Ooh. <laughs> Ooh, that's super good. Isn't it good? It the dough tastes really good. I'm so excited. And they're vegan, guys. Like, this is amazing. Okay, so this is going to go in the fridge. And then we are going to start making the peppermint bark. So, Rosie's going to help me with that. We're going to make the vegan peppermint bark while this is cooling in the fridge. How long does it have For to be in the fridge? For an hour. For one hour. Okay, so we're going to be making the peppermint oh. bark next while we put this in the fridge. For an hour. Okay, so we are now moving on to making the peppermint bark. You're gonna need one cup of vegan chocolate chips. Syrup. You're gonna need pure maple syrup, coconut oil, coconut butter. So we had a hard time actually finding coconut butter at the store. So we're currently trying to make our own in the food processor and it's not going so well. We're hoping that works by the time we actually need to use it. But you are gonna need coconut butter along with the coconut oil. You're gonna need vanilla extract, peppermint extract, and, and three candy canes. Three candy canes. And then the recipe calls for you to use an eight by eight inch pan, which we don't have that, so we're just gonna use two little circle pans. The first thing we're gonna be doing is just melting the chocolate over a double boiler. If you don't have a double boiler, you can also boil some water and then heat it up in a glass bowl over top. So I think that's what we're gonna be doing. So we're gonna melt the chocolate, we're gonna put it in the pans, and then it has to go in the freezer for 10 minutes. Make sure you watch the chocolate chips so they don't burn. We just went ahead and put the chocolate layer in the freezer. They have to go in there for 10 minutes, like I said. And then the next part is mixing together the coconut oil and the coconut butter. You need half a cup of each. But we have a little issue. So I went ahead and already measured out the coconut oil. This is half a cup of coconut oil. Coconut butter. Rosie, what's wrong with it? It's not um, working. We've been blending for nearly 30 minutes and it's not turning buttery. I think the issue is I put too little coconut in too big a food processor, so uh, I don't really know what we're gonna do there. We ended up having to make our own coconut butter. Like I said, we couldn't find it. So I definitely recommend if you uh, can find coconut butter to yeah. use that. Yeah, do that because this is not working well. It's kind of creaming together, but not turning soft enough. So I think we're just... Yeah, I think we're just gonna have to use that. And then it says to microwave them together for about 20 seconds or so, just so they get softer, or as soft as they can get, so that it's melty enough to pour over top of the chocolate layer. And then we have to crush the candy canes and sprinkle those on top, so and then, oh wait, I think we combine the extracts with this as well, but. And then we have to use the syrup, so. Oh yeah, that's right, we have more ingredients, guys. I'm not a baker, okay? Don't. Okay, that was um, an 
feeling. I don't want to say that was a fail because we don't know until it's hardened, but uh, that did not look good. Whatever the white stuff was supposed to be with the coconut oil, like I think the coconut butter kind of messed it up. But it might taste good. Maybe it'll taste good. That could be a win, but uh, it didn't look very great. <laughs> The chocolate I should have just used vegan white chocolate chips. Like, why didn't I think of that? Anyway, that's in the freezer. That has to freeze for two hours. Guys, we were freaking out because it looked so bad, good. but now that we put it in the freezer, which coconut oil turns white when it's solid. It's really I good. Yeah, it looks really good. Like, look at this. Don't mind our messy freezer, but it's turning white. All right, guys, so it is now the next day. I definitely underestimated the amount of time that it would take to bake three recipes and film them. It takes like double the amount of time to bake when you're filming. We ran out of time and daylight yesterday when we were baking. We we're about halfway finished. We still have to make the red velvet crinkle cookies, do the gingerbread cutouts and bake those and decorate those. But Rosie and I finished our peppermint bark. Sadly, Grace is not going to be joining us for the rest of this video. She has a severe migraine and Sarah can't come. So it's just gonna be Margo and Rosie and I finishing up the baking. Let's get on with it. All right, Margs, what are we going to be making now? Red velvet crinkle cookies. Yes, I'm so excited. I already pre-measured things out. So we have three cups of all-purpose flour here. This has the cocoa powder, baking powder, salt, and baking soda already pre-measured. One and a quarter cups of sugar. This is actually what's going in the cookies. You're gonna need more to put on top. Three quarters cups of butter. This is just the vegan earth balance butter that we use for the gingerbread cookies. Lemon juice. If you don't have apple cider vinegar, you can use lemon juice to substitute. We have vanilla, unsweetened applesauce, and some red food coloring, because it's red velvet, so it's gotta be red. Mm -hmm. First, we gotta mix together all the dry ingredients. Would you like to do the honors of dumping that in there? Yes. <laughs> She's gonna mix that up a little more, and then we are going to mix together the sugar and butter in the giant mixer we got here. So you're gonna want the butter to be a little softened. I did have it sitting out for a while, so I really hope it's soft enough. We're gonna mix together the butter and the sugar till it gets a little creamy, then the rest of these ingredients, and then we'll add the dry ingredients. Like I said, the recipes are going to be in the description box if you want them, so just look there. Don't go by my work because I'm probably gonna mess this up. All right guys, so we finished making the batter. It's really sweet. Sticky. So I'm hoping that once it chills, it has to chill for two hours. Hopefully it will be more doughy after it's been in the fridge for a while. So that's the hope, but the batter, guys. Delicious. It tastes like cake batter. Huh? It's so good. While that is chilling, we are gonna go ahead and start doing the cutouts for the gingerbread cookies. So we can get those in the oven, get those baking and decorate those, and then we will finish up with the curriculum. have finished cooking at the gingerbread cookies. They are now cooling on the cooling rack. So we're gonna wait till they are completely cooled to decorate them, but Grace already prepared the icing for us yesterday. So we have this ready to go. Thank you, Grace. It's been two hours now. We are about to roll out our red velvet cookie dough into balls. And then what we gotta do is first, we have to roll it into granulated sugar, and then we roll it into powdered sugar. Apparently, by rolling it in granulated sugar first, you get more of the cracked look. So that's what we're gonna do next, and then we're gonna start decorating. It has been quite a busy day of baking and we are finally finished. We have the gingerbread cookies right here, the red velvet crinkle cookies, and the vegan peppermint bark. Let me tell you, I'm pleasantly surprised with how all of these turned out and they all smell amazing. Like, so good, right guys? Mm -hmm. Seriously, so good. We are going to go ahead and taste test all of these finally. We have been smelling them all day and are just so excited to try them. What do you guys want to start with? This. The crinkle cookie. Okay, ready? Three, three, two, two one. 
I love these. What would you guys rate these out of 10? 10 out of 10. 10 out of 10? A little bit doughy. A little doughy? I like the doughy though. I would give them like an eight and a half or nine out of 10. Okay, before we try the peppermint bark, it is a little strange. So I kind of wish that I used white chocolate chips instead of the coconut and the coconut oil. If you leave it at room temperature, it gets really, really soft and it looks kind of strange. Like it has a little bit of a like yellowy tint to it. You can't see in the camera. Three, Ready? Two. It tastes like a York peppermint patty. Like that's exactly what it tastes like to me. Like if you were to put a York peppermint patty in the freezer, that's what this tastes like. I think it's because the coconut is a little softer. It's good. I liked it, but the aftertaste threw me off. <laughs> what do you mean the aftertaste? I don't taste the aftertaste. I don't like the aftertaste. You don't like the aftertaste? I'm gonna give it an eight half. Yeah, I'll give it like an eight out of 10. I mean, it it's tastes six. like, you didn't like it. Okay, do you like York peppermint patties? Oh, well. That's why. These literally taste, don't you think they're tasting? They taste exactly like them. Yeah, they taste exactly like if you were to put a pork peppermint patty in the freezer. It's time to dry the gingerbread cookies. Final taste test. You guys ready? Three, Three two, two, one. one. <laughs> those are my favorite. Out of all three, those are my favorite. How possible? What do you mean? <laughs> they do taste exactly like regular gingerbread cookies. They are super crunchy, which I actually like them like that, but if you want them softer, maybe just bake them a little less. We baked them for 11 minutes, so maybe do like nine or 10, but they're so good. 10 out of 10. 10 out of 10. 10 out of 10 from all of us. I'm so happy with how these turned out. If you guys like this video, please like. like the video and subscribe if you want to see more fun foodie videos like this one. Most of my videos are related to health and nutrition. If that's something you're interested in, be sure you subscribe and become part of this YouTube family. I love you guys. Thank you so much for watching and I will see you in the next one. Bye.